What's going on YouTube? So the saying goes, bigger is better. And when it comes to the three row midsize SUV segment, the Chevy Traverse has long been one of the very biggest options you can get. Now it's time for a new generation, and that's what we're standing next to right now. This is the all new 2024 Chevy Traverse. And we also have the RS trim and the Z71, which is a new trim for 2024. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead, jump right in and show you guys one of the biggest family crossovers money can buy. So let's start off here with the exterior design. Now, like I had mentioned in the introduction, we have the RS trim level here. And this is gonna be, of course, the sporty looking at trim level with a lot of blacked out elements. Now with this all new generation, we have a new face. This is going to be a lot more squared off than the previous model. So we have a large grill that's gonna extend down through here. And then you've got the lower section. All of this is gonna be finished in the gloss black for this RS, which gives it a very aggressive look. Now, as far as the Z71, this one is the off-road focused model. So it's going to be more rugged looking, as you can see. You're gonna have chunkier elements through here, including this uh, accent piece here, which is just gonna give it a little bit more of an aggressive flair. And you also have recovery hooks as well. Now, in terms of your lighting, we are of course gonna have new LED lighting. This is gonna be a divided unit. So our daytime running light and turn signal indicator will be up here at the top. Our full LED headlight will be down here in this center section. And you do also have welcome animations on your top trim levels. And before I forget, I do also wanna mention that that Z71 does have an additional one inch of ground clearance. Now let's come on into our wheel options here. This RS has a 22 inch alloy wheel. That's pretty large for this segment of a vehicle. And it is again finished in a nice gloss black, which matches very nicely to the gloss black wheel arches on this model. Gloss black finish again up here on our mirrors. We do also have standard blind spot monitoring. And this is also an auto dimming mirror since the RS is the top trim level. Now, like Drew said at the beginning, bigger is better when it comes to family vehicles because you want a bunch of space for you and all of your family's belongings as well. You can really tell that this Traverse is quite long here at the side profile. Now, we do also have a lot of cool design elements, including blacked out window surrounds. We have blacked out roof rails for this RS model, and we also have kind of a floating roof design going on through here. Overall, I think this Traverse looks really good for a family three row. Let's go ahead and check out the rear design. Now here in the rear, this Traverse kind of almost has like a Camaro inspired design if you ask me. It is a family three row, but they are throwing in a lot of spicy elements back here to make it look a lot sportier than your average three row. So as far as what that is, we have a spoiler up top, blacked out uh, piece right through here, a blacked out Chevy bow tie, and our tail lights are actually gonna be a very nice LED design. They're gonna be a clear lens here on the uh, RS trim level, and if you choose the uh, Z71 over there, you will actually have kind of a red finish to your tail light. Dropping down to this lower area, we do have this all finished in a gloss black, and we're also gonna have quad exhaust outlets. I honestly never thought I would say we have quad exhaust outlets on a family three row, but here with the Traverse, we do indeed have them. Now I do want to talk about your safety systems for this Traverse. You're actually gonna get most of them as standard equipment, three out of your four active ones as standard. Adaptive cruise control is optional. And with this new Traverse, you have the option of getting super cruise. So yeah, you're gonna be able to hands-free drive this Traverse on the higher end models. Very cool feature, once again, for a family three row. When you're going on all those family road trips, you're not even gonna have to drive. But guys, there's a lot to show you on the inside. So let's go ahead and dive into that. But first, if you're new here, we're brothers and we've been reviewing cars since we were 12 and 16. We may be young, but we love cars. <laughs> and we'd love for you to subscribe to be a part of our Car Confections family. Let's learn a lot, have some fun with all the latest cars. Now let's go ahead and check out the interior. As cool as the exterior looks, it's honestly the interior that's the most important for a family crossover. Now obviously you're gonna have systems like a smart entry access. And check out the interior. This is going to be a full redesign 
of everything inside of the cabin to give you that latest Chevy design and a lot more luxury, frankly, than the previous generation. So like I mentioned earlier, this is the RS trim level. So that's gonna give you some additional sporty flair. That pop will continue to the interior where we're going to find a leather seat with a lot of red color contrast stitching. I like the design on this. We've got the red strip down the center, red accent stitching, perforation throughout, and overall, very nice looking seat. You're gonna have several ways of adjustment as well, including a four-way lumbar support and memory seats will be built into the door trim as well. But let's climb inside and kind of get into the individual details. Step-in height's gonna be nice and easy and as soon as we get inside, we're gonna be greeted with a really cool looking animation that's gonna go across these two displays. And you know, honestly, since they're already lit up, let's talk about these displays real fast because they are something that really stands out about this interior. This is a 17.7 inch display. This is the largest display in the class. And as you can see, very impressive. We have thin bezels that go throughout this display. Huge graphics that are gonna be very easy for you to press. Um, it's gonna be a nice responsive display as well. It is in a demonstration mode right now. It's why I can't interact with it. But as you can tell, just really, really one of the most impressive elements about this interior because it is such a bold statement as soon as you get inside. Now, of course, you do also have a digital gauge cluster as well, which is gonna be 11 inches. Now, as we kind of look around the rest of the cabin, let's assess the overall material quality. Starting with our door trim, we have a leather wrapping over here. We're gonna have leather in the center section, and this is gonna be a soft touch plastic. RS is gonna have a red kind of faux carbon fiber look to that. As we go to the upper dash, this is going to be a padded plastic with a stitching detail. And then we have more of this trim going through on the RS, padding along the side here for our knees to rest against and piano black is going to be your center finish. Now, as we come to the steering wheel, as you can see, we've got a flat bottom steering wheel here on the RS. I like this steering wheel a lot. It's got a nice meaty feel to it. And Mason was mentioning this earlier, but these extra sensors you're seeing integrated here and here are part of your super cruise system, which is something that no one else in the segment is offering that hands-free ability to drive. It's a very unique feature. The wheel itself will be power tilt and telescoping actually on this top model, and it is also heated as well. And while we're in this area, we might as well talk about this because we have the shifter actually located up here on the column. So this is a column mounted electronic style, kind of similar to some of the um, Chevy's electric models that they've been using recently. This is not electric, but it does have the shifter up here, which is gonna give you a lot more space when it comes to the center storage. Now getting into that storage, it's going to be absolutely massive guys. So we've got a super deep center console here. It's got a little lining down there at the bottom. We have a storage cubby that's gonna be located right here. That's also quite sizable. Two cup holders, a large storage tray with wireless phone charging pad. And then this right here is what you really free up when you're talking about um, not having a shifter. This gives you the access to have this huge pass through where you can stick a purse any type of family item, stuff like that, will easily fit underneath it there. Now, in terms of our climate controls, we do have a three zone automatic climate. I like that Chevy's keeping the knobs and controls very traditional, so you can easily access those right through there. And the audio system on this top model will be a Bose advanced audio system. Obviously, a lot of controls are gonna be inside of the display itself, but they are actually maintaining a traditional volume knob, which allows you to make those adjustments right there. Now, as we kind of wrap up our front of the cabin, we'll check out up top here, having a auto dimming mirror with the uh, digital camera rear system. We also have a very large panoramic sunroof. This does have a power sunshade and the front section will open up. Now let's check out the very important rear areas of this all new Traverse. The first thing I wanna mention is the door opens really quite wide. So if you're gonna be loading in child seats or anything along those lines, you will definitely appreciate the Traverse's door. Although I will say it's very long. So 
kids might be door dinking every car in the parking lot, that's for sure. Now, as far as the space is concerned in this Traverse, I don't have those official numbers just yet. Of course, stay tuned for the full review coming later on the channel. And as far as just sitting back here, I'm looking at probably eight inches of knee space. I'm 5'9". The seat is adjusted to Drew, who's 5'8". My feet can slide up underneath the seat. These seats are also uh, able to slide forward and back and recline. Speaking of the seats, you have seven or eight passenger seating in the Traverse. We have the seven passenger seating because we have the captain's chairs back here. They have a nice armrest on them, nice cool design as well. As far as the features are concerned, we have cup holders in the center. We also have our own temperature adjustment and heated rear seats here on this RS trim level. Down below that, we have a household power outlet as well as two USB ports. And probably the most important thing about this Traverse is the third row. So Chevy has made it very easy to get back there. There's a one button press system that actually tilts the seat forward and uh, slides it out of the way. And let's go ahead and get into this third row. We haven't had the chance to be in a Traverse uh, yet. So this will be my first time in the third row of this model. And wow. I am pretty impressed with this third row. This is going to be one of the class leaders in terms of third row and cargo capacity, which I'll talk about in just a second. Um, as far as this seat is adjustment, this is actually slid all the way back. Like I said, I'm five foot nine and I don't have a lot of spare leg room. So I will say this might be a little bit smaller than the Grand Highlander in terms of leg room. However, the thigh support is absolutely fantastic and the headroom is fantastic as well. You could be like six foot five and fit back here in this Traverse's third row. As far as features are concerned, we have some USB ports, we have cup holders on the side, and we also have vents that are nice and front and center actually right up here in the roof so it can blow down on your face, which I certainly do appreciate. And we've been talking about how bigger is better. So let's go ahead and check out the cargo area in this Traverse. Now, of course, we do have a power tailgate. It does also have the hands-free functionality. And as far as this area, look at this, guys. Behind the third row, we have so much space. If I'm estimating, I'd say this is close to 20 cubic feet behind the third row. But I don't have to estimate as far as the maximum cargo capacity is concerned. This Traverse is rated at 98 cubic feet. That is pretty much a class leading figure, guys. That ties the Toyota Grand Highlander for the largest in the segment. So if you need to have a lot of space for your family and a lot of space for your cargo, this Traverse is gonna have you covered. We're also gonna have a power folding third row here on the side so we can actually power fold that down, which is something that actually the Grand Highlander cannot get you. So that's uh, an important distinguishment uh, between these two models. As far as this underfloor storage, we have plenty of it down here as well. So very impressive cargo area for this Traverse. Now you're probably wondering at this point, what is under the hood of this new Traverse? Well, just like a lot of options in this segment, we're gonna see a downsizing of the engine from a 3.6 liter V6 to now a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. This is going to be making very healthy power numbers though, 315 horsepower, 317 pound feet of torque. Like I said, very class competitive numbers in terms of your overall power, and they will be giving you that power plant across all of the available trim levels for now. As far as your transmission, you're going to have an eight speed automatic. You're going to have all wheel drive available on all trim levels, but specifically on the Z71, it will be a fancier twin clutch all wheel drive to help you off road. And obviously this is a early model, so we don't have any official fuel economy ratings, but we look forward to on this channel, testing out this Traverse very extensively in the future. So make sure you subscribe, that way you can stay tuned for all the updates when we drive this all new Traverse. No official pricing information has been released just yet. And if you're looking to buy a Chevy Traverse or any new vehicle, we do want to remind you to go to carconfections.com slash new car quotes. But guys, that's going to be where we leave off on this in-depth review of the 2024 all-new Chevy Traverse. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful in your purchasing decisions, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. By subscribing, you help get us invited to stuff like this LA Auto Show where we can sample out some of the latest cars on the market. Now, if you're a fan and subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support because you do make this all possible. And we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive ducks.